my name is Adam Harold. I just like to say thank you for taking a look at this media resume of mine. Uh, just a little bit about myself. I accepted Christ at a very young age, about four and a half years old. And a lot of times, growing up, I think, man, that was so young. But yet, as I look at my life, my life has stayed consistent with my decision at four and a half to receive Christ in my life. Um, I remember my dad was at work one day, and I went to my mom, and I asked her questions about about Jesus and about um, the stories I'd heard in Sunday school. And as I was talking with her, um, she said, son, why don't you wait before you make this decision until your dad comes home? And I said, mom, what happens if I die in the next few minutes? I do not want to go to hell. And she said, son, I, I think you're ready. And so at that moment, I knelt down and I received Christ in my life. I was in about the eighth grade when I was getting ready to go to church camp. As I was preparing for church camp, I was outside riding my bicycle, hanging out with my friends, and, and I remember I, I fell off my bike. I broke my arm when I did, and the doctors, uh, we went to the, to the x-ray room, and. Uh, as the doctors looked at the, at the x-ray, they saw that I had a hairline fracture. I remember being so bummed out that I had to go to camp that week with, with a hairline fracture in my arm. Uh, I had my arm in a sling and I couldn't do the basketball and the bowling and, and all the cool stuff that you go to church camp for. And I remember looking back at that week saying, I'm so thankful that I broke my arm because I was able to focus on the message that God was telling me that week. And that message was, Adam, give your life to me give your life to, to follow me in full-time Christian service. And so at that time, God called me into ministry. And I've given my life to Him in doing whatever it is that He would have, have me do. One of the things that I feel like I can bring into a church, and into a youth ministry, is many years of ministry experience that a lot of people can't say that they have and the reason why is because I've grown up in a, in a pastor's home and around a, a pastor's family and, and really I've grown up in ministry and, and everything that I know today about ministry and churches is, is a lot because of my dad and because of his ministry and, and I look up to him and, and, and I, I thank God that he gave me a, a ministry family that I could grow up in and, and learn about ministry and as I surrendered my life to ministry I remember my dad saying Adam why would you want to give your life to something like this and my response was that there's nothing greater to do to give my life to because serving God and being used by him is the greatest thing that I could ever ask for When it came time to look for a school, after high school, I began searching out Christian schools and, and Bible colleges, and I decided that Baptist Bible College was the place for me to go, and uh, I gave my life to, to four years of Bible college there, and ended up being five, but uh, that's another story. And um, a part of that fifth year, I went on to uh, finish up some credits at Boston Baptist College in a Blitz class. And, that fifth year of college ended up being the best year of my life because um, during that blitz class in Boston, which is where we're at today, as you can see the beautiful scenery that we have here, um, I met my wife at Boston Baptist College and uh, we got married February 19th, 2005. And uh, it's been the greatest two and a half years of my life and one of the things that we've done is we've added to our family. We have a daughter named Anna. Uh, we've got another addition on its way that will be here in November. We found out that my wife is pregnant with a baby boy and we uh, look forward to him arriving.
we just like to say thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule to watch this media resume of ours and we just like to let you know that we will be praying with you as you see God and fulfilling the position that he has for your church and uh, again thank you so much and God bless